Hello, students and parents. It has been a long journey of mine in the ITJ field. It was in fact like I found that the because the course for the ITJ and for the school course it was almost the same course, but the thing was that some their students lagged in the conceptual part when they prepared it only for for the school through the school examination preparations. So that is why I thought that there could be a way. there could be a way out by which when they study in the coaching institute that gets them prepared very much very very much for the school examinations as well as for the itj preparation and in fact it it has been a wonderful journey since then this is just not a profession for me it's a hobby for me when i take this i every day i plan like today this is the class now how can the outcome of the class could be best who were the student in the previous class who are not catching up to that level how to reach up to how to reach up to them how to make how to really explore them how to get their intellectual be, make at the top level and those who are grasping the subject matter at a very high level really how to tell them that what is the way to go to the next step how to reach at the all india level how to be in the top 100 of the all india level how to be in the top 10 of at the all india level Like we are here, we at Disha classes, especially keep in mind that we keep we keep watching our students, like what is being done by them correctly, what is not being done by correctly, what kind of problem is there? Like it's a mathematical problem, or it is a problem of their involvement, or it is some other. Every faculty member is given at the most five to six batches, some batches of eleventh and the some batches of twelfth and one or two batches of the twelfth pass go. So in that case, what happens? that one faculty member has to deal with the limited number of students so they know they know that what kind of capabilities are among their students or what kind of uh, where is the shortfall in those students so how to make those students reach up to the desired level but usually where the volume is very big and faculty member feels like what i have to take this class this is my duty and in so many hours i have to complete it and that has to be completed up to that many hours Uh, even if the subject matter or the doubts are not being done in those hours clearly everybody knows that we are dealing with the human beings all the human beings all the students are of different caliber they are of different nature so sometime it happens sometime it happens that you taught the same topic to some a group of student in 2 hours for the next group of students it may take 3 hours for somebody it may take 4 hours so in fact at disha this freedom is there to an individual faculty member that if depending upon the kind of students you want to take more hours you take more hours you want to take some extra classes you take some extra classes when we say that most of the top ranks are produced by those institutes in fact i'm telling you it's not that the two fact is what if out of 10 extra ordinary students they are producing two very high ranks and remaining eight students are not even at the average rank in fact it's a negative result for them there are so many students from those top notch batches of those places they come to us for the extra help they come to us they say sir in my batch the physics faculty member is not good the chemistry faculty member is not good or the maths faculty member is not good so that is why we have to come to this place so now now just think about the fact that they cannot even the top notch students of top notch batches at that place they have to approach to us for the top notch level of the itj just think about those average batches maybe students who come to us in the beginning they may not have that high caliber but those who are in the average caliber gradually for them it's an upward journey it's an gradually upward journey they learn the subject when they learn the subject they generate an aptitude towards solving the problems and in solving the problems they become so skilled that they compare the students of those institutes in their schools and they find that the questions which those students are not able to solve and they are able to solve we have produced all in a rank 55 all in a rank 36 all in a rank 128 all in a rank uh, 143 all in a rank 146 all in a rank 153 so all these ranks have been produced from our classroom programs if some talented kind of students do come here then they are they are really brought up to the very high ranks and obviously for the average students it becomes such a wonderful place that they were never in the range of selection after the 10th class in fact they never ranked good in their schools also 
they might be in the top they might be in the 20th rank in the school now you can think about the level of competition that if a student is getting rank 20 rank 21 rank 25 in the school how will he where should he be in the all india competition but really at this place those who were in the not in the top 20 of a school they really come in the top 5000 top 6000 top 10000 at the all india level